Hey, Nova Nation. Thanks for tuning in to VTV. Welcome to Nova Cribs. My name is Cynthia. And I'm Allie. And we've got a great show for you today. Today we're going to go to some creative rooms ranging from Simpson to alumni to core. Our first stop is Simpson. Let's, Let's check, check it out. out. Hi, welcome to Simpson Room 2. Come on in. I'm Jay. I'm from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. It's about 20 minutes away. I'm a freshman mechanical engineer. I'm John. I'm from Fairfax, Virginia, right outside DC, and I'm in the engineering school. Welcome to my study and also the break room. This is my office. What we got here is we got some key nuts. Nuts.com, best place to buy your nuts. These happen to be almonds, nut of choice today. We got some binders for some schoolwork. All the Game of Thrones books, love the series, love the books. And then of course I've got some actually academic stuff. Over here we got our nice little microwave for the office. Uh, some coffee, some mocha cappuccino. Stop in anytime, you'll be offered one. Uh, with a Keurig. We got my Wall Street journals because I'm educated and, <laughs> and a printer. All right, this is my side of the room. I got my bed up top here. I got uh, my Phillies pendant up there. Um, and right underneath my bed, we have this hammock right here. Oh, hello, Evans. How you doing? Here we have Villanova Light I made. Um, got bored over a break, just couldn't wait to come back, so I put that together. This is my office area, so I get to stare across the room at my lovely roommate. And uh, it's never this neat, but I got all my books organized. I got my drawer where I put my random stuff. Pretty much everything you ever need here. We got chargers for our guests, available right here on our couch. Um, right here, it's one of my favorite things in the room. It says, be like a duck. It's one of my favorite mantras way to live my life. We have a poster signed by the entire uh, men's basketball team. And we got good old Steve running up here. All right, over here, we have our nice, lovely couch. Folds out into a bed on occasion, if need be. We have a lovely shoe rack up here with all our shoes to keep it nice and convenient. And back here, we have our nice Bose sound system. So we can play nice music, serenading us as we go to sleep. We like to leave our doors open, so we kind of find ourselves with some guests when we come back from classes. So we got our music bumping all the time. At night, we like to have our movie nights. We got the big 52 inch screen up there. And over here we have our snacks for all our guests. Goodies right here. We like to keep the fridge loaded with all our good drinks. All right, this right here is one of our newer additions to the room. So for my birthday, the guys got me this grappling hook and I had to put it to use. So I built John a, a hat rack right here, right above his desk. Right here, I don't know if you can see this or not, it's our clothesline. Uh, for all laundry, we like to save some money. On Sundays, you often see a bunch of t-shirts just hanging around here. All right, so over here, we have a nice setup with our computers where we have an HDMI and charger to plug into the TV. So for movie nights, we just plug it in or stream online. And then with a the TV, we use our Excalibur sword, slide it underneath and boom. So when we hook up the computer to the TV, that's nice and all, but I like to stay back here in my own nest. So right here we got a wireless mouse, so I can just sit back here, control the TV. It's also kind of convenient because you can just project here so everybody in the room can see what you're bringing up. All right, so over here we have the White Stallion t-shirt, a little memento from high school. Shout out to the tennis team. And we have the complete signed basketball for the team this year. And of course, we have one golf club because, you know, I'm a good 20 over handicap and I like to practice sometimes. Above John's closet, we have the wisdom wall right here where uh, over the course of the first semester, this, kind of, this thing has kind of just built itself. People just add things as we go. Just words of wisdom everywhere. Right here's one of my favorite poems, If by Rudyard Kipling. It's a great one. Down here we have the Nova Cribs article, the best show ever. And uh, as you can see, we have a lot of lights around the room. We got uh, these ones around the poster, you can make them any color you want. And right here we have my bike, because you know I like to get to class last second. You'll see me biking around like an idiot everywhere. So one of the challenges with living in Simpson is uh, we didn't have any overhead lighting. So as you can see, we had to improvise here. Uh, 
turn this umbrella into a beautiful chandelier here, and of course wrap in Villanova. Thanks Nova Cribs, this has been Simpson Room 2. Thanks for joining us, just come stop by whenever you want. Man, these kids sure are resourceful. I couldn't agree more with you. I mean, living on Southwest does that to you. Yeah, you lived in Delory last year. Yeah, good times. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to head over to Core and check out Nick's room. Hey, what's up? Come on in. Hey guys, my name is Nick Paz Lopez. Welcome to Core 211. This is my room. It's a collection of a lot of different things that I'm just kind of interested in. And uh, I've been building and building just stuff and hanging it up. So I just wanted to share with all of you. So to start with, I have this poster I bought at the poster sale. Some of these come from the poster sale. Some of them I've gotten from different places. And uh, this one I got from the poster sale. It's uh, an art, the co original cover of the book Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by uh, uh, Hunter S. Thompson is a really funny character. This is a uh, two-door cinema club poster from a concert we, me and my friends went to um, at the beginning of the semester. It was a lot of fun. I got this poster at a record store in Philly. We go there a lot um, on these things they have called First Fridays. And this is a Dali poster. Um, it's actually like he uses a lot of these images in a lot of his painting. I went to his hometown in uh, Figueras uh, in Spain and it was really, really cool. I made this collage just randomly, just kind of made it. I made that one too. And uh, I had um, just a couple other like little like things all cut out from magazines. Um, just kind of trying to make a collage out of my wall, I guess. This is uh, an Alesso poster from when he came last year. It was a lot of fun. I had a really good time there, so I figured keeping the poster and keeping it on my walls it would be cool. This is a picture from my senior trip uh, in high school. My senior class went to uh, uh, Walt Disney World. If uh, any Montgomery alum are watching out there, that's where I'm from. I have a poster that I also bought at the poster sale of The Big Lebowski. It's probably one of my top ten movies ever. It's absolutely hilarious, but uh, that's just a scene from um, uh, when they're bowling, which is a common theme in the film. I, uh, I drew that one, and that was for my ACS final, actually. I was in the learning community um, last year for art and culture, and we were supposed to do a self-portrait, and that was uh, what I decided would be my self-portrait. The rest of this stuff is just an interesting collection of things I've cut out and kind of put together. Um, the Pulp Fiction poster is just because Pulp Fiction is my favorite movie ever. I think it's absolutely hilarious. I love the dialogue in it and I think Quentin Tarantino is a film director genius. Uh, to start with my other wall, I have, uh, this is a Grateful Dead tapestry I bought in uh, my hometown of Princeton. Um, I'm a huge Grateful Dead fan. They're a folk group from the 60s. Over here I have a Monet poster. Monet is one of my favorite artists. Um, I just, I love I love art. I got this from a vinyl of uh, Coldplay's latest album. On top of that is a frisbee that my friend made of just like a really goofy picture of us and he photoshopped it onto Mount Rushmore and it's just, it's just goofy. <laughs> I have a Tyler Durden poster from the movie Fight Club. Um, I love that movie. That movie was very profound for me. I really didn't like it the first time until the very ending. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, the ending is just incredible and you, you really don't see it coming. And, it makes you think, it's really cool. I do a lot of things with just breaking vinyls and um, kind of seeing what I can do with it. This is uh, another vinyl project that I did where I just take really cheap vinyls uh, that we get from the record store I mentioned earlier. This one I kind of saw as like a song. Well guys, that's my room. This is Core 211. If you ever feel like being friendly, stop by, say hello, tell me your story, and I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. Wow, it's amazing how unique you can make your room. I agree. Now we're going to head over to Alumni, where it's currently snowing, and things are about to get interesting. Oh, oh, hey! We didn't expect you here. Uh, we're just doing some, some science. Chemistry. I'm Ryan, I'm a sophomore economics major. 
And I am Thomas. I am a sophomore and I'm also an economics major. Uh, fun fact about me, I lived in England for three years, had an accent, and totally lost it once I went back to Joyzy. Fun fact about me, I did none of those things. This is my side of the room. This is my bed. Some posters, guitar, video games, my guitar. And as we come over here, we got into Thomas's area. Okay guys, now down to my side. Uh, well, here's actually one of my most prized possessions as of late. I just ran the Philadelphia Marathon. The number was 2165, and I was actually registered as a 58-year-old man from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Thanks for that registration. Brian and I have our television, our Xbox. We also have the GameCube for when we're feeling like we just need to throw back, play a little Super Smash Brothers tournament, maybe some Double Dash. Oh, it's a great time here. And then also, I've also got my guitar. I'm horrible at it. Ryan's trying to teach me, and it isn't working, but we're getting there. Okay, so when we get here, this is um, Ryan's closet, and uh, this is where we keep Brian, Brian, and Jack. Oh, hey, what up? Yo, is it WNBA Sunday yet? Dude, that's 2 p.m. today. All right, I'll All be right. there. I'll let you guys know. See you guys. See ya. Okay, guys, now we're getting to my side. I am a, uh, as you can tell, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an avid Giants fan. Eli Manning's my boy. Now, we get over here. This is one of my most prized possessions. Her name is Sally. We've been through a lot together. Over here is a picture of me and Ryan in our first debut in the Villanovan. We had, uh, as you can see, we were uncredited. We want, we didn't want to take any of the names. It was more for the store. We had Dikembe Mutombo telling us not mess around, get down to it, as always. And then get over here, got my spirit finger from my first ever Villanova basketball game. It's the best. And then I also have my Philadelphia Marathon poster. All right. Okay, so here we have our refrigerator in here. So we have friends coming over, you know, and they might want to get, a, they might want to have a drink. They might be thirsty. Coming over from a workout, you know, some chocolate milk, get some post-workout protein. Powerade, Dr. Pepper Cherry, Arnold Palmer. We got apple juice, cranberry juice, apples. Very, very good proponent to helping the immune system. Okay, guys, we just want to say thanks for stopping by in Alumni 224. We hope you enjoyed our crib. And now we're gonna go and uh, I'm gonna try and learn some more music. We're gonna jam out for the rest of the day. Okay, well that, that's, not, that's not a bad. Well, we saw a guest appearance from Brian, Brian, Jack from the second episode. Kids these days. <laughs> well, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Allie. Thank you for tuning in tonight with us here on Nova Cribs. See you next time.